So I'm talking with Alf Cannon, our Chief Minister, and also, of course, member for Michael. But this, this section is more about the year ahead. And we've done a separate interview about the very, very latest things that are going on with budgets and also the cost of living. If we can park that at all, which I'm not sure we can't, because everything is so in, intertwined, isn't it? But the year ahead, what, what have you got in plan? I mean, the, well, we touched on that as well, the Ireland plan, of course, and that sort of thing. Is, is that all on schedule, you think? Can you keep doing your, all the things you want to do while you've all got this other stuff going on, basically? Well, I think there may be a case for some reprioritisation. But look, as it stands at the moment, I've got a very busy year ahead. Um, there's a number of uh, trips lined up. Um, for, for me, both to engage with politicians in the UK and to, and to go further afield to help support some of our business and business activities. Um, but we've also got a big debate on this merged economic plan and uh, economic and, uh, and island plan, so we'll, we'll bring that together in November. We've got plans to bring forward some restructuring within, within gov government, and I know that uh, Chris Thomas um, in, in, in October will be along to talk about some some of our plans in, in that respect, and uh, some of those will be rolled out later in the year as well. Um, clearly, the uh, budget is a, is a critical priority. Just before in July, we um, delivered a document about brownfield site regeneration and, and our plans for the built, the built environment, which included a new major planning application, some reform around planning itself, um, and also a, a crit, sort of highlighting this critical desire from us to make sure mm. that these empty brownfield sites, so as part of our vibrancy and our drive towards providing a better homes and, and more, more options when it comes to, to home ownership in the towns particularly was being delivered. So I expect we'll be delivering initiatives around that. So look, and of course, there's, there is a, a really critical budget coming up in, in February as well. And I know there'll need to be a lot of work done between now and then in terms of assessing, you know, what the Treasury Minister's plans are and how, how that's going to uh, work. And you talked to me about prioritisation and what, you know, whether everything that we've listed is going to be done. I think at this stage, it's too early to say the critical parts, of course, but um, you know, when you get to a situation where inflation's running at 10, 10, 11 percent, where interest rates have gone up half a percent, where there's so much pressure on individuals uh, in terms of their cost of living, then, you know, you, one would be foolish just to say that everything's perfect. And yes, it's mm. just, just going to be business as usual. There's always a requirement for us to look at what we're delivering, how we're delivering it, and, and its relevance and, and need for, for some prioritisation in mm. that respect. But the budget has been set. You've got to find that money coming in to, to pay for everything as much as you can. I mm. mean, surely things are being skewed in all directions that you haven't thought of. Well, I think, I, I, you know, we, as I said, we, we will see when we actually get the actual um, pink book from the Treasury, which shows our likely performance this year and what we're expecting next year. But sure, when you set a budget and inflation's running... You know, at a couple of percent and then three or four months later, it's at 10, 10, 11 percent. Then and you, you can see that that, that energy cost uh, going through the roof, then uh, absolutely you've got to accept there's, there's, there's going to be a significant impact in terms of the um, pub, public expenditure and public public revenues. So um, but look, you know, that, that we've got good fiscal discipline. We've had. Um, you know, substantial reserves and the ability to use those reserves. We're certainly doing that at doing that at the moment. Um, but as I said to you in an earlier interview, there's only so long sure. you can carry on with that that kind of strategic approach. Well, you are one of the largest employers in the man, aren't you? Mm -hmm. How many? One in what? Five? Is it? I never know. The, no, so seven and a half thousand to eight thousand people. Yeah. Now they they all want a pay rise, of course. What are you going to do about it? Well, and, you know, pay, inflation proof. I, I, that's, that's, that's another, I mean, you know, pay negotiations are ongoing, as you're absolutely fully aware. And, um, yeah, it, you know, we, we, that's a big cost to the cost of the government. And, of course, we'll have to be factored in. I think what I'm interested to see in particular, I mean, I can see those sorts of things um, happening, you know, and clearly we're going to have to give pay rises this year. You can't not give pay rises when you've got that sort of level of inflation. And, you know, when the public service, uh, you know, over the last decade, along with everybody, actually, and, you know, not just the public service, and people have had significant challenges and, and, you know, we tried to restrict pay as part of our rebalancing efforts, certainly in the last um, administration. But under this sort of pressure, of course, there's going to be pay mm. rises and I hope they'll be sensible and hopefully we might try to look at those over, over the longer Longer term, yeah. If you don't give ten percent, um, though, you're not giving cost of living, are you? Well, it's I, a pay I, I, cut. yeah, but, uh, but there's all sorts of variables to to, to discuss when when you're looking at um, pay and and public sector pay, and it's not just necessarily about the direct cash benefits, but also other 
you have to take into consideration every, every other benefit that the people are getting. But yeah, but I mean that look, look that's an, that's another challenge, and and certainly. You know, we need to balance that out with what sort of income levels that uh, we're going to be expecting as well. So, anything else uh, on your books for this this coming year? You know, that's, I mean, obviously you don't bother with private members' bills because you, you, you don't get involved in that sort of thing. But have you got any hopes that you that you haven't published that you, you know, direction of travel for the Isle of Man? Do you see us as a uh, doing what we're doing now, for instance, in, in three or four years' time, with the way that the UK is now reducing their tax rates and that sort of thing? Well, I think it's, as I said, I haven't said, sure. I need to digest the impact you of, of, the implication of, is uh, they were, of, of what the UK, yes. UK have I mean, done. A general Listen, feel to it. I think, uh, you know, the island's still got huge opportunities, um, you know, both both locally, but also in terms of getting out uh, into the world and, and reaching out for, for, for new areas of, of business. I'd like to see in three or four years' time that uh, not only have our existing sectors been strengthened, but we have actually managed to create diversity of opportunity, that we have um, got some, some good substance to the medicinal cannabis, that we are looking at uh, you know, increased impetus in areas like digital that we are making progress on in terms of our education and education offering. So, look, I mean, this is all stuff that is that is that is well documented. Mm. And I think my I would be disappointed if my hopes and aspirations weren't being sort of delivered through the uh, through through the strategies that that, that that we're endorsing and that we are trying to and the, and the ultimately the end goals that we're trying to reach. Should we feel optimistic then as a nation? under your steerage well, absolutely Paul, of course <laughs> but listen i mean i listen look people have got huge challenges right the government's got huge challenges individuals have got huge challenges business have got huge challenges we're in a period um of significant pressures but we can get through this i mean that's my message we can get through this i think the actions that we've taken are the right ones we've get put that platform in place that, and we've talked about this i know and mm. You know, in terms of the package of measures, the freezing of electricity prices, the additional support that's coming through. Um, yes, I think this is a three three part jigsaw, if you like. The government's actions, which obviously form, form the mainstay, then the, up to the individuals to themselves work out how, how they can make whatever savings are necessary or improve their income levels. And of course, then around the community. And we're always been fabulous around the you know the, the community effort we've seen that in COVID we know in periods of trouble that we've got a fantastic community on the island as well and you know there the, the, the way we're supporting that is we've got our, our community £100,000 fund we're going to help people if they want to create warm spaces or look at new initiatives to help support those more more at risk if you like in our community so we're going to bring that together the island will get through this and uh, you know we'll be into next year it's so difficult to say what's going to happen sure. but look if things 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 as they say can only get better we know that that, that, that that we will help everybody get through this difficult transitionary period again and then, of course, we will be renewing and reviewing ourselves from in you know in the spring spring of next year. Right. How, how does Alf Cannon lead? How, when you sit around your table, your inner circle of Comin, are you dictatorial? You're not going to tell me this, are you? But it, do you <laughs> I mean, how do, how do you, is it? It's not completely democratic. I'm taking it. You do have to say, have the final word, don't you? Well, we're a democratic organisation. I think people do have this <laughs> mis, mis, slight mis, misconception that that this is an a, a, absolute autocratic role. My job is really is to, is you know, is to bring things together, bring the best of the ideas together, um, and you know, try try and drive those drive drive those forward um, collectively as, as as a council of ministers, uh, and that's and that's the way I like to do things. And I, listen, I like to hear hear people's opinions. I like to give, yeah. give give them as much freedom to express themselves. And I don't. I also like to like to think we're trying to get the best possible advice uh, in order to make the best possible decisions. As other politicians said to me, looking at what you've got, you have a limited deck. It's a very small deck, isn't it, people to put into positions, but that's what you've got to do. OK, well, come to the end. So uh, this is one for you hate, I know. Can you give me a score how you've done in the last 12 months, you know, and your performance? Well, Paul, as you know, I know, as you know, I know. As we've had these conversations Even though you're the chief minister, before, I'm still going to ask you, but um, you're not you going know, to be on yet. Well, no, I think, you know, it's not, it's not for me to start scoring myself. I think that ultimately our, you know, Really, you know, uh, as a, as a, as a council and you know, as a government, no, we this have is got you. To keep first of all, you and then the government. So you first. Please. Absolutely, other people will judge judge Fine. my. Performance. So you're not doing that. One. My performance will be what judged alongside of that of the government. So you're not going to give the government. No, because at the end of the day, you know, 
I've said to somebody asked this question actually during during the government conference. You know, what do you think of civil yeah. service performance and stuff? Ultimately, you have to take responsibility for that. I think if things aren't working in government, then you have to ask yourself what's happening. You know, at the very top, and then you have to to, to you know to be prepared to take those responsibilities. Okay. So, so your yeah, phrase yeah. you're going to take away from this is things can only get better. I think that's, is that <laughs> yeah, you stick to that one. I just... <laughs> That's what he said. It sounds like it's a record, isn't it? Well, well, I think you're putting words into my you mouth. You said now. it, actually. <laughs> okay.